Thanks, Chief. Hey, man. Must have made you sick, brother. How you doing? doing? Very well. Oh, thanks, Chief. Been a while. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you got well, you're all way. Yeah, yeah. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. How are you, my friend? I'm great. Seat and we'll uh, get down to business. You're on Triple J with Miff J and the Doctor, and we have Frank and Chief from the Deftones who have come in. Good morning, sirs. Morning. Good morning. You're looking very fresh faced. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, last time um, we saw you, uh, I think it was uh, 2003, mm -hmm. big day out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you guys threatened to kill me. <laughs> You remember that? We noticed that Chino didn't come in today. Is he a little bit scared of uh, of bringing the uh, the pain against Jason Wally here? What happened? Uh, I don't know. Well, from my recollection, uh, we were on stage because we we played a band, and uh, we were on stage. And uh, I'm going to blame him yeah. because he said it. <laughs> although I took the rap. Uh, <laughs> we, were, uh, we we have a song called Ball Chef. Mm -hmm. Written when we were on tour in the States about a gentleman that um, uh, cooks Rocky Mountain oysters. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we were discussing on stage how uh, Americans eat balls. Mm -hmm. and, uh, to which each, I think I said, you can go out backstage right now, check out the Deftones. They're eating plate of balls as we speak. Yeah. Ah. And uh, someone uh, uh, took offence and uh, you threatened to shoot me in the foot. Ooh. That sounds like us. <laughs> that does sound like us. We threatened to shoot everyone in the foot. <laughs> I'm glad it was the foot. It has to be the foot. Yeah. <laughs> Is that just so you can sort of maim them a little bit and exactly. then and then they can still, you know, feel the pain? Yeah, it's stupid and it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, probably with you it was less serious than we are with each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? With each other we Probably one of us will get shot in the foot at some point. <laughs> do, you, do any of you actually have guns? Actually, I own a whole bunch of guns. Really? Really? Yeah. I thought you were a practicing Buddhist. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's a weird dichotomy. <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys still playing? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Man. How's that? Yeah, it's been fun actually. We just put, a, put out a new record and um, yeah, we were just in Japan a few weeks ago doing some shows and doing a lap around the country. A train bar? The train bar. In Tokyo? Yeah. Uh, oh. what, what's, it, what's the train bar? The smallest bar in the world. <laughs> yeah, really? The smallest bar in the world. It's it's a closet. Closet. We're both 10 people to make it really packed. Yeah, yeah right. There's lots of those little places. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much for coming in. Thank you, guys. Thanks for leaving the, uh, the guns at home, G. They won't let me bring them in. So I actually brought in a sword and a war club from Venezuela, and I didn't declare it, and Customs was none too happy with me. Was it because you called it a war club? Like, maybe if you called it something else, like well, a, it's, club, it's, a Buddhist it's club. It's called the Man Tamer in Caracas. <laughs> You know, I guess you're supposed to declare wood, and I was like, oh, it'll, it'll be fine. And then I got the jelly finger, and, you know, they were galloping up my ass like Steve Harris. They were? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was, it was really hot. Wow. It was sexy. It was erotic. <laughs> yeah, it was erotic. And did you get to keep the man-timer at the end of it all? I did. It's still up there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>